Put your gun down! Don't walk towards me! When a killer is suddenly confronted with the truth of their actions, everything changes. The weight of their decisions crashes down on them when reality sets in, just like this first killer here, who went on a rampage and thought he'd get away with it. On the 4th of May, Ethan Lane stole a tractor and rammed it into a college dorm building, attempting to harm two students. But the bizarre twists that followed will leave you in disbelief. In the middle of the man. The officer has no idea what's about to hit him. In the blink of an eye, the collision happened without warning. What came next would leave everyone in shock. Shots fired! Get him! Grow! Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired! Across from the DOT. Get your hands behind your back! I'm sorry. Sorry for what? You almost killed me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hate society. Okay, well that's not the way to go about it, bro. I'm sorry. Did you get hit? No. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Lane's apology seconds after attempting to take the officer's life was nothing short of baffling. The audacity of this guy. Sorry. Tuck your knees into your chest. <laughs> I fucked up my life. Yeah, my life. My life is gone. At least he's self-aware. <laughs> kill me! I don't want to kill you. I want to protect myself. Why are you acting like this? I got threatened, and I wanted to kill them. Threats or no threats, taking someone's life is never the answer. Just check to make sure everybody back here is good. good. My uh, aim was that way. Make sure there's everybody back they there. They threatened me I don't first. I wanted to kill them. They had to pay. I will never understand the mindset behind these actions. It's a level of recklessness that's hard to comprehend. Okay. <laughs> My life. I had it good. And now. Yeah, well. I'm gone. I'm sorry. Sorry, look at me. Look at my car, man. Despite his erratic behavior, the officer was still showing restraint. Kudos to him. I'm okay. I'm all right, man. I won't do anything, I swear. Sit up. Sorry, you good? Yeah, I'm you good. Shot? I'm fine. No. You fine? Does he really think he's in any position to make demands after everything he's done? He's not. Suspect not kid, yeah, he so. veered right into my... I was off to the side. He went into my truck on, or my car on purpose. And then when I got out, because I'm pinned here, he got around here, fired off shots, and he ended up surrendering right there because he kept coming back at me after I got out of the car. The tension in the officer's voice speaks volumes about the constant life or death incidents law enforcement officers face daily. Thankfully, no one was injured. But before ramming the police car, Lane went on a spree, crashing into multiple vehicles. He was charged with aggravated assault, Grand Theft Auto, attempted murder of a law enforcement officer, and two counts of attempted murder. After the chaos of a stolen tractor crash, you might think things can't get any wilder, but this next killer takes recklessness to a terrifying extreme. Put your gun down! Don't walk towards me! On the 28th of October, a fugitive suspected of carrying out a triple homicide at a Minneapolis homeless encampment was on the run. Officers quickly responded to reports of shots fired, and what followed was a high-stakes game of cat and mouse that will leave you on the edge of your seat. I can't remember. I ain't got no shoes on. What color of a person was he? What color of person? What color was the skin? Like me? Okay. These officers had no idea what was about to unfold. He might have a gun in his hand. Yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? Ready, ready, ready. 168, 10 1, male with a gun, Kimball Court. The confidence these officers have is truly admirable. Knowingly driving towards dangers takes some real balls. 
Hey, drop the gun. Drop it. Hey, get some cover, get some cover. Drop the gun. Drop it. Hey, you move up. The threat was real, and every passing second brought them closer to a breaking point. It's gonna be hard. We're gonna have to cross. The weight these officers carry is immense. Every call, every shadow could be a threat. Yet they press on. Put your gun down! Don't walk towards me! The suspect's next move could bring either peace or lead to irreversible consequences. You gotta back up, man! Back up! Get back, please! The officers did everything they could to defuse the situation before it turned fatal. Little did they know, the worst was yet to come. Stop, 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 stop! Speeding through a high-stakes face-off without a care in the world, these people really have no brains in them. Keep going! Get on the ground! Drop your weapon! Get on the ground! Drop the gun! Get on the ground, man! We want to help you! Get on the ground! Just drop the gun! Get on the ground, man! I don't want to hurt you! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Drop your weapon! Get on the ground! Their dedication runs deep. It takes a special kind of resolve to step into harm's way, over and over, for the sake of others. Sir, we need you to put the gun down. Yeah. Sir, we are University and Snelling. He's right in the middle of the intersection. Please stay off the air. Stay away. Just drop the gun, man. We talk. Drop the gun. Drop it. Drop the gun, man. The officers did their best to calm him down, but little did they know, his frantic behavior was all part of a calculated act. We don't want to drop kill you, man. Gun. Please just drop the gun. Fuck. Fuck. Seven, five, three, shots fired, shots fired. This was truly heartbreaking to watch. You can feel the desperation in the officers' voices. They didn't want it to end this way. The suspect, 40-year-old Earl Bennett, was identified at the scene and tragically passed away from the gunshot wounds. His death serves as a stark reminder of how quickly things can escalate. These killers may have hoped to escape the consequences, but let this serve as a powerful reminder that justice has a way of catching up with those who try to evade it. But what happens when the ones meant to protect us are the ones putting us in harm's way? Just like this first officer here, who thought he could get away just because he wore a badge. Check it out. Shut your fucking mouth! You don't talk to me like that, I'm not your boy! You don't talk to me like that, I'm not your boy! You a fuck boy! I mean, if he don't want to blow into it, you know, he don't have to, you know that? It's not against, it's not against the law to drink and drive. 